But in the meantime, let's talk about Unipass and GCNet. The chaos which ensued at the country's ports, especially the Tema port, following the shutdown of GCNet systems on Tuesday, continues to linger despite a request by the Ghana Revenue Authority to have the system restored. Freight forwarders who were expecting to do business through the system have been left stranded since Tuesday. The single window platform, the Ghana uh, Customs Management System from GCNet and West Blue Consult are being replaced with Unipass to enhance clearance at the country's port. So what exactly is the problem there? I'm joined um, right now via Zoom by President of the Chamber of Freight Forwarders, Ghana, Dennis Amfo Sefa. Mr. Sefa, good, good afternoon. Thank you for your time. Well, I trust that you can hear me. Let's start with an explanation how we, get, we, we got to this point at, as, as a country. If you can give us a mental picture of the processes you know, of clearance and how complicated it's become at the moment. All right. Thank you, and thank you to your listeners. Uh, good afternoon. Well, um, before um, 27th of April, the, the platform on which uh, customs declaration and cargo uh, have been managed and cleared was being uh, run by the Ghana Community Network, GCNet. Uh, the name of that platform is uh, Ghana Integrated Cargo Run System. But then on the 27th, of April, the Commissioner General of Customs issued a communique directing that um, all uh, clearance process should be moved or shifted from the GCNet platform to a new one that has been uh, implemented, which is an integrated customs management system, the ICOMS. But before uh, we do that, GCNet should run concurrently in parallel with the new system. Mm. The reason for this was that we have a lot of documentation and declarations lodged onto the GCNet system, which has not ended their clearance cycle. Yeah. Maybe someone has uh, entered a declaration, paid the duty, but has not been able to complete the cycle of clearance. So if you shut the system down and ask the person to go and start the whole process again on oh. the icons it becomes a problem okay so in, in the wisdom of gre uh, customs uh, told gcnet that your system should be running even though we we've, we've announced that we are deploying a new system which is the icons but because we know as it stands now it was, it's your system that has a lot of the manifest, a lot of declarations, a, a lot of suspense regimes in them. If you shut it down, it's going to create problems for us in the port. Mm. So let us have your system running, and then our new system, which is the integrated customs management system, will also run. But it looks as if that is not working. Now, the, the transition between GCNet and Unipass has become a major problem. And that is where I'm coming to. Right. For us in the Chamber of Freight and Trade, we believe that GCNet acted in bad faith. Why do we say this? If you, you have been in business with customs for close to 20 years, since 2003, it is GCNet that has been uh, running the cargo management system for customs, which is the electronic data interchange. When we moved from Ascuda, which happened to be uh, bulky and paper, uh, full of paper and all a lot of bureaucracy. So if in in, in running this uh, uh, platform for customs for 20 years, and then customs comes to to inform you that, well, we have a new system that we are developing and we would own it. For that matter, hang along with us for just one month so that every declaration that is already lodged in your system uh, freight forwarders and traders alike can process them and end their clearance cycle so yeah. that every new documentation and every new declaration that uh, any freight forwarder or trader wants to, to process, they process it on the icons. Okay. So I don't think this should be a problem for GCNet to shut down because we have seen it before. When West Blue was taking over the destination inspections, 
that was being run by GSL, BVAC, Web Fontaine, and the others. Because by then, they had issued a lot of FCVR, the Final Classification Evaluation Reports, that has not been utilized. Customs then asked them to hang along for one month so that all unutilized FCVRs can be utilized. Okay. And then anyone who wants to apply for a new classification evaluation mm -hmm. will do it in the uni uh, uni uh, West Blue system. M M Mr. Mr. Alpha, I just want us to, at the moment, uh, uh, finally, how, from, from the perspective of freight forwarders, the Chamber of Freight Forwarders, how can we move on from here? What ought to be done between today and next Monday for, for the processes of clearing and for people to get their goods out of the system to also not to be attract, attracting demorit, et cetera? What, from your perspective, is the way forward? What ought to be done is for GCNet, as a matter of agency, to open their system to enable freight forwarders and traders who have large declarations in them already finish the uh, clearance cycle and also to enable those who have already been issued with a, class, a final classification evaluation mm. report or customs classification evaluation report and are ready to pay their duty yeah. have access to the system and then process their document and pay their duties okay whilst the icoms the unipass system is currently working on those that are entering new declarations those that are, are applying for new final classification evaluation reports are lodging this on the icoms those of us who have uh, been issued with already uh, classification evaluation report from customs we can use the gcns system to process our document okay with this we think there will be harmony there will be peace and we won't have any standoff in terms of it well let's we'll see we'll have to wait and see how that uh, goes uh, on monday hopefully which is a working day whether or not it will work and i'm sure we'll come to you uh, for that update thank you very much for joining us this afternoon dennis amfo safer there speaking for the chamber of freight forwarders ghana